Welcome to Science at FMNH, a podcast and video series that explores the behind-the-scenes science, collections, and research at Chicago's Field Museum. We continue our discussion with Gary Feynman to explore his research on the role of households in the regional economy of pre-Hispanic Mesoamerica. My name is Gary Feynman. I am the curator of Mesoamerican and Central American anthropology at the Field Museum here in Chicago. My own work in, in Mexico has been conducted in the Valley of Oaxaca. It's in the southern highlands of Mexico, and it's one of the largest valley systems in uh, the highlands of Mexico. And for that reason, because it's a valley that surrounds a river and has a fair amount of flat land, this valley played a prominent role in Mexican, Mesoamerican history before the arrival of the Spanish. And that's where I've been studying for more than 30 years. And these excavations have focused on households at uh, a number of villages and towns. These household studies are important because they give us uh, some insight into what people did uh, for a living and also give, gave us insight into the factors that determine wealth and well-being uh, in, a, in a population of town dwellers. Who is better off than whom and, and what, um, what distinguishes people by wealth and status. Uh, so by working at the regional scale, the site scale, and, and the household scale, um, I'm trying to contribute a little bit to understanding um, how people lived in, in the Valley of Oaxaca. One of the things we learned is in contrast to misconceptions or preconceptions that were present before our studies is that most households were not completely self-sufficient. That is, most households produced goods for exchange uh, and um, they also procured goods that they did not make themselves. Some of those goods were made by other households at the same site, but other goods came from farther away. So marketplace exchange is, is not a phenomenon that was uh, unique to the European world. Uh, and our work in Oaxaca is suggesting that at least some of, of the exchanges that were taking place were taking place in markets even hundreds of years before the arrival of the Spanish conquistadors. Because we're focused on houses, we gear our excavation strategy to uh, this kind of research and our goal is to define a particular residential complex in its full form before we go down further and when we completely expose one occupational level, the top occupational level, only then will we proceed down and we will endeavor to find the next, the penultimate level of occupation and we keep then, and we peel that layer off and we keep doing that until we reach the uh, founding uh, level of the house and that enables us to see how the occupants of the house remodeled their structure uh, over time uh, and, and, and also some of the changes in behavior of this household in terms of access to goods, in terms of economic focus, uh, how these things changed over time. Uh, and that allows us to compare also this house to other houses that we excavate uh, at the site. We also know that how people behave in cities, their relationships, interactions, networks of cooperation vary over space and time. By studying settlements, communities, and even urban centers in the past, we can gain a much better understanding of how things work and do not work in cities today. In order to understand what are the implications of having so many people in cities, are cities sustainable or not, what kind of cities work best for people's health and well-being. In order to answer those questions, we have to look at history and the history of urban centers. And, and we need to know the diversity of cities in different parts of the world and over different times. We see that cities have 
uh, limited histories, limited abilities to continue as economic centers in their regions. And so in order to understand something about what will happen in the future, we have to understand uh, the history of cities and, and, and what makes cities sustainable and what makes them uh, fail or shrink.